Okay, now we have an expanded equation here. Now, I can tell that this is the equation of the ellipse. The reason we can tell that is because first, we have an x squared and we have a y squared. Second, there's a plus in between the x squared term and the y squared term. Okay. So we know it's a conic section. Since it's a plus, I know it's either a circle or an ellipse. And since there's, that's also the x squared and y squared that tells me it's a circle or an ellipse. Now, since the coefficients on the x squared and y squared are different, I know it's an ellipse instead of a circle. A circle will have coefficients that are the same. So what we need to do here is complete the square. So again, I'm going to start by reordering my terms. So I'm going to pause a moment and do that. Okay, so I have reordered. I have written the x terms next to each other, the y terms next to each other, and moved the constant over to the other side of the equation. Now, remember when we're completing the square, the first thing we check for is the coefficient in front of the squared term. This is not 1. Before, when we were dealing with just equations, plain old quadratic equations that we were just solving for x, we just divided everything through by whatever that number was. That won't work anymore. So what we want to do is we want to factor it out just out of these two terms. Okay, so what we're going to get here is we're going to get 9, and we're going to be left with x squared minus, that will be 6, correct, x. Okay, I'm going to leave a blank spot there. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the y. I've got a 16 in front of my y squared, so I'm going to have plus. I'm going to factor the 16 out, and I'll be left with y squared minus, it turns out that's going to be 4y, and again I'm going to leave some blank space, and it still equals negative 1. Okay, now we're going to go back and use that magic number idea. Okay, now, just looking in these parentheses, the coefficient on the x squared is 1. The coefficient on the x is 6. It's actually negative 6, but we just care about the 6. Half of 6 is 3. 3 squared is 9, so I want to add 9. Now, be careful. This 9 is still out front here. So in reality, if I were to distribute this, I have really added 81, 9 times 9, to this side of the equation. So I need to come over here and add 81 to this side of the equation. Now let's do the same thing with the y's. Coefficient on y squared is 1. The coefficient on y is 4, negative 4, but we just want the 4. Half of 4 is 2, 2 squared is 4. Hey, that's convenient. Add 4. Now careful, I've added 4 inside these parentheses, but in reality I have added 16 times 4, or 64, to this side of the equation. So I now want to add 64 to the other side of the equation. Okay, now let's simplify. I still have my 9 out front. Now I know that this is going to factor into x minus 3 quantity squared. That was the whole point of adding that magic number. Plus, let's look at the y's, 16 out front times y, that will turn out to be minus 2 quantity squared, equals, simplify your constants, and you get 144. So I'll let you stare at that, 144, yes. Okay, now we're almost there. Not quite in standard form. The last step will be to divide everything by 144. Divide by 144. So I'm going to write the simplified version. If I divide this by 144 and reduce, I will get x minus 3 quantity squared, whoops, helps if you have parentheses, over, that will become 16, plus y minus 2 quantity squared over 16 over 144 will reduce to 1 over 9 equals 1. And now, I could graph this if I wished, but they did not ask us that. If I were to graph it, my center would be at 3, 2. I would go left and right 4 places. I would go up and down 9 places and connect the dots to make an ellipse. 
And that is it for our ellipse.